Hello guys, welcome to a new video. So before we get into the video, I just wanted to make a small intro because the footage you're about to watch is around two months old. Uh, it's been a little while, but the reason is I was working alongside making art. So it took me a little while to edit it and get it ready. <laughs> but I just wanted to say firstly, thank you so much to everyone who's new on the channel. I am just like beyond excited and can't believe you guys enjoy watching my videos. I mean, I'm so happy you do. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to ask you guys if you have any questions about me, then leave them down in the comments and then the next video I'll do a little Q&A. In this video I look exhausted throughout most of the footage. So yeah, I hope it's not too boring. But basically I make my first painting with acrylics in around seven or eight years. And I give you guys a little review of gold and heavy body acrylics. And I also work on a shop of it. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you very, very soon on the next one. Monday. I just got a delivery of something really exciting. Excuse me, kitty. Ta-da! Basically, I just got some acrylic paints and I haven't actually used acrylic paints ever since I was maybe like 15. And to be honest, I wasn't such a fan at the time. I was much more into oil painting. And yeah, in case you were wondering, I was that really sad, annoying teenage girl who paints with oils in their bedroom and like literally inhales the fumes. Oh no. <laughs> I need to come down. Yeah, anyways, I used to do oil painting in my bedroom, inhale the fumes like it was nothing because I wasn't very smart at the time. I thought it was cool that like Caravaggio died of like lead poisoning uh, because he loved this craft so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so I'm not that person anymore. <laughs> yeah, so I've decided to give acrylic paints a second chance. Why does he always get like an energy burst whenever I try to film? I just don't get it. I didn't used to be such a fan of acrylics because of first, the really fast drying time and second the texture um, so I now know that there's like you can use like a stay wet palette to to prevent the acrylics from drying while you're using your palette and you can also use some mediums to increase the drying time so I did some research and most people recommended golden acrylics if you really like the feel of oil paints so that's what I got um, I got this set and this is the classic theory set, so um, hopefully it's got all the colours I need to make any colour. I'll show you all the colours it comes with, in case you're interested. Um, and then I also got this set of um, acrylic brushes. And then I got an extra colour, the one by Golden was sold out, so I got the Winsor Newton Burnt Amber. Umber. Not okay, so it comes with like a mixing guide. Oh, cool. It comes with eight different colors. 
So we've got cadmium yellow light. Oh, and it's really cool. It's got like a real, an actual paint sample on the outside. Indian yellow hue, cadmium red light, alizarin crimson hue, ultramarine blue, Prussian blue, uh, viridian green, and finally we have titanium white. Yeah, um, we'll try them together and I'll give you a small review, but I think golden acrylics are really well respected, so I'm assuming they're going to be really nice. If you guys are looking to start painting and don't have any colors, I really recommend getting a set like this. I will also leave a link to the shop where I got it from because I think this set was on sale, so it was really, really good value. So in case you guys are interested. Cool, so I will sample the colors now. Um, but I don't think I'll have the time to do like a painting with them today um, so I'll leave that for tomorrow and today's priority for me is to finish my sketchbook designs um, so you would have seen me work on the third design yesterday and today I want to finish the inside covers um, I've already sketched them out let me show you so that's a very simple sketch of what the inside covers will look like so they'll have a this notebook belongs to label um, at the front on the inside obviously and the back will just have my contact information uh, yeah so <laughs> I would ideally love to finish these today test print everything and send them off and ideally I'd love to also send off some stickers to get printed um, to finish my business card design. I am just so excited to show you everything. To be honest, I've been running my shop kind of as a side thing, not really. It's not that I haven't put much effort into it, but I haven't actually tried to develop like a range of products for it. I've only ever done like um, Christmas cards and stuff like that. So this is very exciting for me. Yeah, so let's sample the colors. Okay guys, I'm recording this audio a few paintings later and I can safely say these acrylics are amazing. Uh, they are very buttery, the colours are beautiful, they're super easy to blend and they actually stay wet for quite a long time. So what can I say, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I was expecting a much more difficult like transition period but I feel like I just immediately started really enjoying what I was making. In this video you can see me paint this pancake from um, from the Still Here Still Life challenge and you can see the palette I'm using looks a little bit weird and that's because I try to make my own stay wet palette so the brown paper is actually parchment paper and underneath I have some damp kitchen towels I think that's what you call them um, which helped the paint stay wet for hours like I think I was painting for about six hours I was really slow um, and yeah all my paint stayed open it was amazing so what can I say I'm obsessed with acrylic painting now and I would really encourage you if you're looking at this and you feel like like it looks like it could be fun I really encourage you to go and go out and try some acrylics <laughs> um, yeah <laughs> Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Um, yeah, I think it's been around a week since I last spoke to you and I've basically been working on a lot of things to do with my shop updates. Yes. So I'm designing notebooks, stickers, prints and a very very special project that I'm making together with Nick and I don't want to disclose it just yet because because this is a little bit different so with everything else 
I just order one thing and that's it. Uh, and with this project, we're actually building something where we rely on quite a few different suppliers. Yeah, it's a fine balance whether it's gonna work out or not, but hopefully it will. In fact, I'm very confident it will. Uh, and I will share all of my process on that at a later stage, hopefully soon. <laughs> um, yeah. So I've actually just sent the notebooks to be printed. Um, I will show you. So I've got three different designs and let me show you my mock-ups. So bear in mind I printed these on my terrible printer. I've talked about it loads, but yeah, um, the colors will be slightly different. Um, but this is a fast design. I really love it. I wanted to do something like checkered with flowers for a while, so. So this is the second design. The final version is neither this one or this one, but it's like a cross in between. And this is the back. Wait, let me show you. How cute is that? I just like, I'm just so excited. Um, and the inside is like this. These are meant to be like fruit labels. And finally, we have this guy. I just love it so much. I'm, I'm just so excited that I've I wanted to make notebooks for so long. Um, so this is just <laughs> anyway. This is the front, and I would love to show you the back, but um, this is what my printer did. So basically, we have a happy cloud at the front and a grumpy cloud at the back, and he's kind of grey, but you can't really see in this. <sighs> I've got hay fever. And this is the inside. Again, it's not going to be stripy, obviously. I've been wanting to have a shop update for quite a while, but I just really wanted it to be um, consisting mostly of stuff I'm just really excited about. Yeah, I just feel kind of weird selling just like copies of my work. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I just wanted to take the time to develop stuff that I would actually be really excited to buy. And so, and so, yeah, I don't know. I hope, I really hope you guys like it when you see it. I'm going to paint my little bones now. I always say it funny, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but I think I'm going to start with this guy. I don't know why, he just, um, they just appeal to me. Hello guys, today's Friday. Um, I'm afraid this vlog is going to be a little bit all over the place because for the past couple of weeks and for the next two weeks I am working part-time. Um, so I don't have a lot of time left in the day. Um, but I'm preparing for the shop updates and I've just received, like two days ago, I just received the stickers I was waiting for. Yay! So I would like to show them to you. So here's the first one. So this one is a picture that I did for Inktober. And it's a little happy flame, as you can see. I thought it would be cute as a sticker. And I gave him a little pink border. Then I got this bird. And this, guys, this is like my absolute favorite. I think he is so cute. This is from a drawing I'd made 
a while ago, I can't remember exactly when, but maybe a couple of months ago. And I love how it turned out. I'm so, so happy with this guy. And finally, I got this little flower, which again, I think is super cute. And this has got a transparent background. And now I'm actually going to put them all. I just got a new water bottle, so I am going to stick them on my water bottle and I'll show you how that looks. Hmm, this is a really difficult decision. I think I'm going to go for this one here. so cute for some reason I just find transparent background stickers really satisfying so here's the result I think it looks super cute but it definitely looks like there's some stuff missing I'm definitely gonna buy stickers from other artists and fill my bottle where the stickers Hey guys, so I feel like I've talked about this in video, but I'm not sure to what extent. Um, but basically, recently I decided to get a part-time job so that I could make some investments in my work. And so the first thing I did is I bought a printer. This was really long overdue because my previous printer, I've talked about it, so many times in these videos so I'm not going to talk about it anymore and I've just tested out some photo paper on it and I am so happy with the results I didn't do any color management for this I just printed them directly off Photoshop but look <laughs> it's so nice the colors are super bright and you can see a lot of detail like um, I'm not gonna lie, the paper was expensive. I got the Canon matte photo paper. Um, yeah, it was pretty expensive, but the results are great. I am just so excited. Like, look at that. Um, okay, and this is the printer. It's the Canon G5050. It's got color um, tanks and the colors come in little bottles like this and you just turn them upside down, load the tank thing and it's super easy. So I'm just like beyond excited because I now have everything I need for my shop update. Yeah. And, and I'm gonna be able to add little prints as well. So I'm thinking of making A4 and A5 prints and because my printer isn't really an art printer um, I'm gonna price them pretty cheaply and over here excuse the mess but um, I'm just working on my second uh, I'm working on a fruity painting it's the second one in this series and yeah I posted reels with a process for the first one which I might insert somewhere um, but yeah so that's one of the designs on my notebooks